We're back to the Toll Education Celebrity Show on the Toll Education Network. Again, tolltutor.net for more information. Twitter, Toll Tutor, Neil S. Haley. Facebook, LinkedIn, Neil Haley. Instagram, Total Tutor. And also Pinterest, Neil Haley. And I'm so excited to have another Olympic athlete. And uh, I had Katie Ulander on my show, and it was just an unbelievable interview. And the one person I wanted to have on, because my memories of 2014 in Sochi, uh, my memories really w- was the event, the skeleton. And it's just because of the great uh, role models for for girls and for women and how they uh, were just great represents of the United States. So I'm so excited to welcome the program. Noel Pikes Pace, silver medalist from the 2014 Games uh, in Sochi. Noel, thanks for calling, and it's an honor to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, my gosh. And, and for our audience, who, who uh, I know so many people know who you are, but give us a little bit of your background, then we're going to go right into specifically enough the experience at Sochi and uh, what's, what's going on with uh, some of your other projects. Awesome. Yeah, so I started out running track and field when I was in high school, and my track and field came up to me and said, hey, why don't you come up and try bobsledding? You know, I'm from Utah. The 2002 Olympics had just been, you know, they were about ready to take place, and so there was some recruiting being done, so I went up my junior year of high school. I was 15 years old, my first time ever getting in a bobsled, and the following year, my senior year, I switched over to skeleton, and that's just head first on a little cookie sheet looking sled. You run, you jump off your stomach, and you go flying down the side of a mountain that speeds about 90 miles an hour. So I just fell in love with it, and I quickly excelled in the sport. Um, and yeah, I, I competed in 2010. I finished fourth. I missed the medal by a tenth of a second, which is really, really hard to do. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I came back into 2014 in these last Olympics and it was just a dream come true to have my husband, my two kids by my side. And, uh, we did it, you know, we, we brought home a silver medal. Absolutely, and in the, the story of you going up and, um, and and hugging your husband and and the family atmosphere <laughs> that you put out there, what 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 an unbelievable experience! And you said you never got the chance to watch it yet, but I mean, it, it was a, it was a lasting memory for sure. Yeah, you know, I I don't remember. I remember like bits and pieces of doing that. I just remember being so full of emotion and gratitude, and um, pretty much every emotion that. I have ever felt was just all wrapped up into one instance. And it was right when I crossed that finish line. Um, and just remember, you know, it wasn't just about that time that I had. It wasn't just about that, um, that moment. It was about everything, the culmination that all came to that one moment. It, it was just uh, all the sacrifice, all the time, all the tears, all the, you know, joy was just brought into that one instance. And then just <laughs> I jumped up. I wanted to celebrate with my family. And in that moment, I was also on the, on the other side of the barricade and the other side of the, <laughs> the stand hugging my family. And it was just a moment that I'll always remember. So for the listeners out there, she uh, went, came out of retirement to do this and to, to have this opportunity and say you're not going to stop and yet had this experience to a lasting memory to, to spend with your children. What a tremendous uh, experience for sure. But before this, the, the whole thing leading up to this, I mean, it, it's definitely a storybook story in so many ways because think about this, the commercial that Pampers did with you. It, it was just, it was yeah. tremendous. It I mean I, I it's a lasting memory. I have five children my own, and uh, just to think about looking at their little milestones, what a tremendous thing! So it's kind of explain what you're doing with Pampers. Yeah, so Pampers and Babies Are Us have just been absolutely incredible for myself and my family. We were able to join the team of Pampers Team PNG um, just before the 2010 Olympics. You know, we had a little girl. I had Lacey at that time. She was a year old. And uh, that's just one less headache that we had to worry about while we were at the games and going into the games with diapers and wipes and everything like that. And then coming into these Olympics into 2014, it's been nice to partner up with Babies Are Us as well. That's just it's an incredible store, an incredible company to be able to work with where they cover all, you know, all sorts of milestones for kids of all ages. So it's definitely been a place where my family and, and I have been shopping for years and years. So it's just been a perfect partnership and the way that they support the family and, you know, the Thank You Mom campaign has just been absolutely wonderful. And so you've really enjoyed the whole process of this campaign, especially the Thank You Mom campaign. Explain a little bit of how that goes. 
Oh, absolutely. It just shows, you know, how much our moms have done for us. As Olympians, we know that we've never been able to get to where we're at alone. It always starts somewhere. It started with my mom. For me, it started, you know, when I was 15 years old. I couldn't drive myself up to <laughs> go train. So she would take time off work, and she would. I just remember day after day after day, her driving me up to practice and waiting in the freezing cold weather. We'd go afterwards after every single time we'd go and get like a little hot cup of cocoa or some hot chili or something. And those are just memories that I cherish. And I have my my mom and my dad to thank for for the opportunity to be able to become an Olympian and to be able to have the success that I've had. And that's so important to thank your family and thank who got you where you are today. And to look at those exactly. milestones and think about the commercial and just I'm sure it brought so many tears to so many people. That commercial, it was so, it was yeah. so well done, and uh, to kind yeah, of and it's just the truth, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pure honesty. It's great. It's it great. was so cute looking at you growing up in different uh, areas. So when the first the commercial got to air, you got to see it before you headed out to Sochi, correct? The commercial. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. I saw. Yeah. I saw. They've they've done so many different commercials with different athletes, and I was able to see a handful of those before I headed out. And every time I've ever seen any of their commercials. As I'm sure have brought tears to many of your eyes, I was bawling when I saw it. So <laughs> it was great. Absolutely. So getting back when you finally arrived home, it's been uh, crazy, hasn't it? I mean, absolutely, just a tremendous. Uh, from uh, how what more well known you are after this, and with the commercial, and then the silver medal. So take us back after you know winning the silver medal, and then heading home and how many weeks you've been home so far and how crazy it's been for sure but great for sure as well <laughs> it's been it's been a whirlwind to say the least and just the support that we have had and the love that we've been shown throughout the years and then obviously after coming home has just been so incredible we got home and our whole community had the whole street the whole city lined up with you you know the usa flags and they were all over our yard and we had Right, I don't know how many hundreds, if not a thousand people um, at a homecoming for us, just waiting to cheer for us and, and give us hugs and show their support. And then since then, um, I've just had the opportunity to go speak to a lot of different youth groups and companies, which is something I've always wanted to do is motivational speaking. And uh, now I'm writing a book. Um, you know, it's, it's about the lessons that I've learned along my Olympic career. And I really want to target women and and youth and the girls you know so hopefully i can help to just make a difference for positive um a positive difference in somebody's life out there and and, uh you know just we're just all trying to make this world a better place (laughs) so getting to speak to these groups coming home it's just I'm, i'm i'm sure it's absolutely awesome you were Olympian before, but to be a silver medalist and people remember you from television and uh, the, the, I'm sure these little girls and girls have a lot of questions for you, right? About the experience. Yeah, they do. And, and it's the, been so much fun. Yeah, it's been so much fun just to be able to see them. And, um, you know, after the 2010 Olympics when I finished fourth, not many people knew who I was. And I'd go to speak to people and say, yeah, I finished fourth. And honestly, in my mind, I just always thought that I would have to tell people that, yep, I finished fourth. Yeah, oh, man, darn it. You know, and uh, and then my husband talked me into coming back out of retirement. He built my sled, which was an incredible feat. And so it really has been a family affair. And we were able to raise the money to allow us to travel the world together for these past two years, which allowed us to have this opportunity to, you know, earn this medal. And now when we see people, it's not, oh, yeah, I finished fourth. It's, wow, we saw that, you know. And and I think people understand because this is the truth from my heart. I, it really didn't matter if I won a gold or a bronze. It really wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have reacted any different. It was just the culmination of everything that it took to get there. That that's what that's what made it worth it, and that's why I re, that's why I reacted the way I did after I won that medal. And so now to be able to walk down the streets and people say, "Wow, you're in the wall, aren't you? Oh, my daughter, you know, she wants to meet you," or something like that. I hope that I can just be that positive role model that you know that that i that i hope to be i hope i can be all that i that i expect myself to be and and make a positive difference in this world 
And when you were talking about how you're going, you're really trying to definitely help empower youth, especially girls. I think that it's tremendous to watch, especially in the Winter Olympics, the women athletes and how tremendous role models you guys are. Especially, I was talking to a former Olympian, uh, 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 U.S. hockey player, women, and where she was talking about women's sports and where it's going you're now getting to really get that opportunity to truly give back through that silver medal to tell girls you can't you too can be in the olympics you too can do whatever you want to do and now you have that platform to speak and tell people that which is tremendous yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. So uh, the the projects now pretty much coming up, or the the two campaigns you're still working uh, with Pampers and also uh, Babies R Us. But what's going on specifically is you're just writing a book, and uh, yeah, writing a book and uh, motivational speaking, and and then my minutes are filled in with just small requests. You know, come speak here, come speak there, sign this, do that. Uh, and then, obviously, I'm a mom first and foremost, so I want to make sure I dedicate my time to my kids and my family first and foremost. So that's really where where I'm at right now, and I'm just loving life. I'm enjoying it, um, and uh, I'm excited for this book to come out. It should be coming out in the fall. So hopefully, you know, I guess we'll just see what, what happens from there. But I really am doing what I, what I enjoy doing and what I love to do and what I've always hoped to do. Well, you'll have to come on my Author's Corner show to talk about that book as well. I have the most uh, amazing uh, authors on my show, so we can talk about your entire story. But uh, where can we I'd find uh, that? Great. We definitely will stay in touch uh, via Twitter and all the different things. But where can our listeners find out more information on you, Noel, and learn more about you? You can go to com, or you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter is at Pace, and Facebook just search for Pace. <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> well, Noel, thanks again for taking the time again because I know you're busy schedule, so you, f- you were able to fit me in, and uh, I enjoyed hearing about the story and, and, again, our listeners out there picturing that story and saying how cool it is to listen to you and your excitement for sure and and uh, I know that you're going to be doing some amazing things and take, use this platform to really transform society. And you, you see that as a mother who's an athlete, you too can be a, a mom and an athlete in one. Just like uh, I've had other athletes on that are, that are moms, it still does not mean you can't be a superstar, world-class athlete like yourself. So thanks again for calling, Noel, and we'll definitely stay in touch and we'll have you, you back on when your book is out. So thanks again for calling. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Take care. You're listening to the Toll Education Celebrity Show on the Toll Education Network, and we'll be back in just a moment.